So here I am. I'm in Excel. Uh, I'm in a file called Students. You can find it online on my website, jameswdh.com slash finance. Very easy to find. Uh, you don't know the password? Send me an email. I'll give it to you. Now, we're in Excel. File called Students. Uh, we've made the file a table. If you looked at the previous video, we've, you've done it with me. And we've talked in the last video that uh, tables were the best tool to find one piece of information, even if it was a very complicated piece of information, like a man, which would be white, and that would play video games. And if I was able to filter this category, I would only have the men here, and I would only have the men which were white, and I would only have the men which were that played video games, I'd be able to figure out the average uh, or total or minimum or whatever information I'd like to know uh, with filters. Uh, we've seen that in the last video, but now... I'm coming to a different scenario. My boss came to me and uh, gave me gave me this interesting challenge. He said, uh, "James, we're trying to figure out um, if if people are growing a trend out of sports into video games." I'm like, "Really? It's an interesting trend." So I go M, white, right? So I'm looking for men which are white, men which are Asian, and men which are other, and women which are white, and women which are Asian, and women which are other. Right, but not only that, am I trying to count how many men are white? I'm also trying to count how many men are white and like video games. And I'm also trying to count how many men are white and like sports. So I can find the two numbers and compare them to one another. But I'm also interested in a lot of information here. I'd also like to know a total amount of men, right, and a total amount of Asians and others, right? And there's a lot of numbers I'm curious to find. And my 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 design here isn't appropriate because really what I'm looking for is if I can give you a better image here, right? I want to know of the men, of each ethnicity, right? What their ratio, ratio is about here, video games. So this, these numbers here that, that you see get repeated a lot, right? Now for sure I could position my information like this, right? Oops, I just want to duplicate it. Hold control to do that. Uh, you see here, now I've got an interesting scenario because I'd like to know how many men, or sort of count, how many men there are, how many men are white, right? How many men like video games and sports, right? Here I'll have these two again, control C, control V. And then this whole structure gets put down here. Right? Now, this is my intended goal. This is a complicated one, right? But I want to know the men that are white, how many like video games, and how many like sports. And then the men, which are Asian, and how many like in video games, and how many like sports. And of the men, which are other, how many like, you know, just a complicated count structure here. Oh, this needs to move down a bit. But still, I'm, I'm hoping that you're understanding what I'm doing here. I'm trying to say that there's a lot of information I'm trying to find. Right now, doing this with... Uh, with you know tables would take forever. I'd have to open tack 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 tack, and counting would be out of this p world. I would have to go one. Uh, oh, this one's men, and this one's ooh, what's his ethnicity? Black. Oh, we don't count him. Uh, oh, this one's man. He's white, and he's video games. So one here for video games, and then no, we're not gonna do this, right? We're not gonna do this, right? So this is too long. So we have to use another structure, and um, the method that was invented was pivot tables. It's uh, really cool. You could also use countif, but that would be very difficult to, to produce. So how will this work? Well, look at this. And this is where the pivot table part starts. So we go right here, we click design, and you see there's a summarize with pivot table button. You just click the summarize with pivot table button, and it gives you a prompt. The prompt asks you some very important questions like, do you want, what a table do you want to use? And you're supposed to have your table selected, right? The one that's named or otherwise called table one if it's your first one, table two if it's your second one. Uh, you can have an external data source uh, also if you have it, but in this case we're using a table in Excel. Uh, choose where you want your pivot table report to show, so in a new sheet, that's what we want. But you can also say in an existing worksheet, you know, you can also do that. Uh, like, I could put it here on an existing worksheet in a location on sheet 3, right over here in B2. I don't recommend it putting it in B2 though, maybe B4 is better because sometimes pivot tables require a bit of a top range. And if you are using Power Pivot, oh, you get to use this little one, but we don't use it right now. So we hit OK, and voila, my pivot table is created. And some of you might be thinking, oh, are we going to play in here? Or are we, what are we going to do? As you notice, if I click here, something over here where I was disappeared. I click on the pivot, it arrives. And this is where pivot tables are done, right? So I'm going to move my face of over here. 
right? Oops, uh, just one sec. Here, I move my face over because where my face was is actually where uh, the whole work is done. You see this area over here. Now, you might be thinking, how does it work? Well, there's actually three areas here. Uh, first, you build your layout, and then you find your value. So in this little example I gave you here, if I scroll back down to the bottom of my file, right? I gave you my layout. I first built how I wanted my information to be uh, put because I couldn't figure out my information if I didn't build a layout for it to be uh, shown to me. But I can tell you that I'm looking for gender information. I can tell you I'm looking for ethnicity information and I'm also looking for uh, hobby information. So how do I know this? Well, because if I go to the top, you can see uh, there's gender here, there's uh, ethnicity here, and there's hobby here. So if I go back to my pivot table, which is on sheet 3, and I take this information that I just gave you and I drag it strategically. So that was my layout, right? What I showed you was not the numbers, not what actually were the values of these things. This was just the visual of it. And so here we would build the visual. Inside of the rows and the columns, you build your visuals, right? Inside of filters, you limit the information. And inside of the values, you find the numbers you want. So here, let's do it. A lot of people use checkboxes. I don't encourage it. Try to drag things. It's better. Uh, so here, I'm going to go on uh, r the rows. Whoa, what are the rows? This, rows. What could I do? Um, so I wanted the information about gender. So maybe I should take gender and put it on rows. I told you that it was the layout, so let's try it. Ooh, M and W. But I don't just want the M and W, remember. I'm curious to know about more than M and W. But let's just consider that I want M and W, and I'd like to count it. Right? So I take gender here, and I drop it here, and bam. I know there's 195 men and 105 women here. <laughs> James, no. No, no, no. Yeah, it's so powerful that you could then, you don't have to, like, wait or bug or, you just, no, look. Look, look, look. You go here, and you say, I want to buy hobby. So you drag your hobby down here, and you're like, no, James, stop. And you're like, yeah, look. I've got all the numbers for all of them, not just for the ones I chose, for all of them. And I didn't pre-program anything here. This was a table of data, and then I clicked pivot tables, and it worked. I'm not a magician. This is just Excel. So here you look at it, right? And I've got arts and socials and sports and video games, but I didn't want... In uh, my other example, I just wanted sports and video games. And um, I, I can notice that I had men and sports and video games, but I had something in between, which was uh, certain ethnicities. So I have to bring ethnicity in and not forget. But look here. If I go on hobby and I check on this little dr drop down, I can say that I'm not interested in arts and in social. right? So I can use the filter right over here next to the category I've brought. And look at that. Now I don't see the other ones. Wow. That's not possible, James. Stop. Yeah, look. And then the last part was bringing ethnicity. Now, I could bring ethnicity to the bottom, but then, oh, no. It shows me the ethnicity at the bottom, but the bottom numbers I was looking for were not ethnicity. It was sports and video games. So I'm going to have to drag ethnicity in the middle of these two here. I'll show you a bit more space here. I'll drag this up. Oop. As you can see here, I have hobby in the middle, right? I need to have ethnicity in the middle, right? And now that ethnicity is in the middle, you can click and drag it up. Uh, it, it will be put there, and I am not interested in, uh, let's say, I'm curious, I'm not I'm not interested in others, right? So I'm going to go over here. In the other example, it's not there, but here we're going to be a bit more logical. And here we're not interested in these ones, but all the other ones we want information. And we can notice now that uh, men, uh, which are Asian, like sports more than video games, it seems, right? And uh, the black one likes video games more than sports, wow! And uh, white ones... Uh, Video games more than sports. And for women, oh, there's no Asian women that like video games for some reason. Uh, wow, this is interesting there here. Uh, black women don't like sports that much, but they like video games a lot. That's also interesting. And uh, sports, uh, wow, interesting too. I like this. This is an interesting comparison uh, about sports and video game for different genders. Uh, but maybe the count is a bit hard to read. What if it was percentages? Uh, could I find percentages? Well, you know, you can have two values. Look here. I'm going to drag a second value here. Oh, wow. So now I've got two values. Wow. And you can go on top of the value where it's in count and gender and double click it. And then it's going to give you these value field settings, right? And these value field settings, extremely important area of Excel because you can do three things here. Now listen carefully, three things. The first thing you can do is you can choose a different formula, and we'll see this very soon. 
You can also change how your number formats looks, which is in this case, we're going to get percentages, so we're already going to take care of it. We're going to click percentage, and we're going to remove the decimals, because really, we don't need all those decimals to have value our point. And then here we're going to go as show value as, and I'm going to go at no calculation, and I'm not going to put per calculation of grand total. I'm actually going to use parent row total, which is the parent total that I have, the one on top of it. So I'm going to click this one, I'm going to hit OK, and check this out. I've got all these percentages. For some reason, my two decimal part didn't work, because sometimes what happens is it resets the formats when you choose a different value shown. So I'm going to have to go back to percentage and remove the decimals. But it's done. It's taken care of. I have count of gender 2. I have 81% right in this data set are men, and 19% are women. Uh, so that's uh, not a lot of ratio. For, so for sports, there's not a lot of women that seem to play sports, right? Um, and video games, in this case. Uh, so this is already some data that you can see. And the percentage is already highlighted better than what we had before. So it's also important to be able to differentiate how you see the values. Maybe you're curious to know, I don't know, of all these people, if there's, you know, different gr average grades. And you're like, average grade? So you see here, I've got the average grade. And I can drag it down here. And I've got sum of average grade. I don't want the sum. I might want the average. So I double click on the title. I'm going to re rename this to average grade, not this whole thing. And I'm going to go here, click average. And, oh, it renamed it. I really dislike that Excel does that. But it's okay, I forgive it. Uh, average grade. And I'm going to hit number formats. And down here in number formats, I'm going to make sure to uh, choose the appropriate number format. Uh, because, you know, we're doing averages. And averages often have lots of, you know, decimals. So I don't want to have too many decimals. I just want to have two. And I want percentages because it's averages. Um, so I'm going to hit it's grades. So I hit OK. And then look at this. It f adjusted. Ooh. Uh, it's right there. And I've got uh, the averages for everybody. So for men who are Asian, the average grade 82, 86 in sports. And I can see that most people that are into sports get better grades than people into video games. Ooh la la. Very interesting. What about salaries? Let's go check this out. So now I'm going to drag salary down to the bottom of the list. I get another salary. Wow. And then you can remove them eh, just by dragging in. So let's say that the initial count wasn't too interesting to us. Uh, I can remove it. And then I just keep this information. And I've got the salaries here, and I want to maybe get the average of them. So can I do that? Yeah, you can double click on top over here. Check this out. I go. Where is some of the salary here? Uh, sorry, average. And I go on the number format. And I put a, a currency with no an accounting or a currency with no decimals. I think accounting's better with no decimals. And I hit OK. And I hit OK. And check it out. I've got the average of the salaries here. So I can see that. Oh, wow. Strangely enough, grades are higher for people in sports. Right? Oop, I'm going to move this one over here if I can do it. So here, average grade. So I can look at this, and I can see grades are often higher, but video games are often lower. Uh, f video games are high, higher in money. So I can see the data really nicely here in this file. And think about doing this in any other way. Now think about what this is, paper. Think about what this is when people didn't have computing, right? Now this is an amazing feature, and it gets even more powerful with PowerPivot.